Today I'm going to teach you how to truss a loin. I am so excited to teach you about this because it is something that you can do for any occasion. You can do it for Christmas because it's a beautiful, um, really piece of art once it's done. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see the different layers inside it. It's easy to do and people think trussing a loin is intimidating. It's absolutely not and I'm here to show you if I can do it, you can do it. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to make up the filling. Now, I have used pomegranates in my filling. I've used anything really that's seasonal outside you can use in your filling. I've got two different cheeses. I particularly like mozzarella and I like Parmesan. Some people like Swiss. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I've got about a cup of breadcrumbs, about a half a cup of olive oil, basil and mozzarella and Parmesan cheese and a little bit of pepper. You're going to cut into your loin about uh, three-fourths of the way down and you're going to do it about a third across the top of the loin. You're just going to make a perfect slit. You can do it um, slanted if you want to. I'm just doing it straight up and down right now. Turn it over and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, then you are going to pound this out to make a big flat surface for your stuffing to go on. It's really easy. Just open it all out and then start pounding. I don't really, I'm not using this, you know, the, the spiky side. I'm using the flat side. You can get two pieces of saran wrap and lay it on there and flip it over and pound your meat on it. But I prefer just to do it plain just because I like to do things really fast and I don't want to go through all that trouble. Another thing you can do, you could get the seal pat sheets that you bake cookies on and you can do this on top of the seal pat and you can really get it thin doing it that way. Um, and I have done that before and it works pretty good. Just pound this to about a half inch thick. All right, now that I have done that, I'm going to put the filling in the middle. And it's a beautiful green color. Put your stuffing in, leaving about an inch border around the outside edges. Now I'm going to roll the loin and begin the trussing process. Okay, I've got it rolled. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use about the length of six times of your piece of meat. That's a good rule of thumb. You're going to tie a knot about a half inch from the end, come down a bit, go around and under. Okay, then you're going to turn the loin over. And I like to kind of stick in the, the side so that the filling doesn't fall out if I can. And then I usually skip one. You can do every one. You don't have to. And I just wrap it around the top. Okay, I'm going to do the very end one. And then I'm going to pull it out and tuck under again the meat and bring it around the other side. Flip it around and tie a knot. All right, it's all done. It's all trussed. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on the outside of this loin to give it a little moisture. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. And I do liberally salt this. I think it is so good. It kind of gives it a little crust to it when you put it in the pan. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. Okay, all right, now it's time to go over and heat our skillet. The skillet needs to be sizzling hot. Once that's hot, we're going to lay it in there, brown all the sides, and put it in the oven, finish it off, and it'll be totally ready. All right, my loin is done, and it's been resting for about 10 minutes. So we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to cut off the string and take this apart and it is going to be fantastic. I am so excited. 
I'm probably going to do a couple of more of these for our birthday party, but I wanted to show you what this looks like and how easy it is. All right, here we go.